play the music you introduced into our lives a quarter of a century ago. It echoes of a strength in solitude. We used to sing it together, sometimes forgetting the words. But now, I seem to remember. It goes. The days are okay. I watch the TV in the afternoon. When I am lonely, the sound of other voices on the rooms near to me, I'm not afraid. The operator, she says the time, it's good for a laugh. There's always radio, and for a time, I can talk to God, dial a prayer, are you there? And in the winter, extra blankets for the cold keep the heater getting old. I am wiser now, you know but just as good a fool concerning you. And somehow, in this mad snow that returns after the spring, confused by the turns man has caused nature, rather like miscues on that stage, I sing this song, and I'm still in awe of how 25 years have gone. Those who gathered round the communing kitchen table, and other tables thereafter, will look for the music sheets in our minds because the lines with notes of them have merged with a rolling pasta and the waft of smoke and love suspended mid-air, waiting to be caught, tumbling on our necks, torn like improvised stockings of solemn whores. We, who declared that after theater, everything else was boring, and drank to that, cooked to that, laughed at ourselves for that. We all loved our roles and lovers, sometimes imagined, and sometimes as real as sudden wounds or inevitable tragedies. Nevertheless, we sang our loves and danced, ate, drank, devoured the roles we played and relived them through the evenings in tight, humid corridors or apartments, cafes or spaces under the acacia trees or steps still warm with the sun. Look how we in the theater mark our lives with the plays that we have done. We don't answer the question when, with years or dates. We don't remember the years. Rather we say, some merry wives yan nang yan. And we see our lives Montage as it were on a beautiful costume you designed for Francis or Margot or sa death ng yari. And I see us in that photo call in the waves, our gauze costumes sifting the sand, you taking Len Ag and Ada Bautista dancing swing in the waves. We remember the images of the place and what went on alongside it on our lives. We know the details of the offstage that embellished or hewed the frame of stage and vice versa. We first remember the drama that went on. The comedian, forgetter of lines, became a counselor. The actress who slept in churches to approach her vagabond role became a mothering sea monster on TV. The actress who ate a chair, Ikana, for not knowing her lines became a truly committed actress of the stage. The beauty queen whose tabak fell in a Katipunan play, remained an aging beauty queen. Or the actors who stripped have had to come to terms with their machismo. Or what play was that when, when two men began an affair, are now married and have kids. Or when a 
leading actor ended up with a stage manager's girlfriend. Or what play was that baby born and even named after? But beyond that, we track our lives by how we have grown as theater people who finally owned that stage and rose to stunning heights, and who found his or her new approach to acting or realized a vision. And deep inside, the vow to create a womb from that theater in spite of all the obstacles. It begins with your family, then comes right down to your soul. And this, is how we mark our lives, and how I and many of us will mark you, Oji, the way reeds and stones mark spaces and pathways. If many will remember you in many ways, I will remember you for your passion. I remember you performing in a light train as the messenger in Medea that afternoon in Puerto Real high on a ramp, claiming the entire wall of Old Manila with your stentorian voice and the physicality of your expression. The rain continued falling, but the audience was spent to their seats, mesmerized by your moving narrative. Uburoi, Toshus, Ballet Tutu, Bure, 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 gliding in your bigness like you were on air. Talong talo ang Ballet Trocadero ng Swan Lake Mall in Dying. 